So today I saw something pretty interesting. Many of the creators I watch on YouTube all came together to create wonderfully done video essays on one marvelous scene. High Top Films, Captain Midnight, Brown Table, Nando B Movies, and so many more have done one of these videos. And, you know, me being me, I decided I wanted to do one of these. Except, I wanted mine to be a little different. Different in the sense I am talking about a different character, not different as in bad because boy I do not know how to make good videos. Anyway, with the release of Endgame quickly approaching, let's look back on a certain scene that many of us love. Now I know what some of you may be thinking, Daredevil is a TV show, that doesn't count. Why though? Daredevil is in the MCU just as much as Iron Man or Captain America. He's a hero in this universe too, and I want to talk about him. While he might not be in Endgame, he still is affected either way by what is going on in this larger world. So without further ado, let's discuss why this is one marvelous scene. Throughout the story of Daredevil Season 3, we see Matthew Murdock deal with his inner demons he has about Wilson Fisk. Matt is not one to kill, yet in this season he comes to the verge of doing it. As Matt has all this inner rage about what Fisk has been doing to the people of New York, he decides Fisk has to die. It's the only way all of this ends. So in this scene, we see Matt finally reunite face to face with Wilson Fisk. As an epic fight ensues, Matt eventually gets to high ground and begins to beat Fisk to a bloody pulp. This is it. This is the moment Matt is going to kill him. Matt grabs Fisk's neck as if he's about to snap it, but then there's a hesitation. Matt pauses. He doesn't immediately break Fisk's neck. As he's holding Fisk's bloody head, Matt realizes what he is doing is going against who he is. This has nothing to do with what's right or wrong, but it's simply about who Matthew Murdock is as a character. He doesn't kill. He believes there's good in people, and if they're dead, that small bit of good is completely wiped out from the world. Matt sees people's potential be good, which is what makes him stop what he's about to do to Fisk. Matt doesn't want to become someone else. He wants to stay the same. He doesn't want Fisk to win by having him get killed by the hands of Daredevil. Matt doesn't want Fisk to destroy who he is. Matt doesn't want to change. He believes in what he is fighting for. Justice. He wants justice for his city. He wants justice for the people. Therefore, he decides to let Fisk be arrested and be put back in prison until he rots. Matt doesn't lose his humanity. He wins. He beats Fisk. I think this scene is important to remember while watching Endgame. Our heroes need to bring back their fallen loved ones and stop Thanos for good. But at what cost? Well, that's the thing. The cost is everything. And it has to be. The Avengers have to do whatever it takes, just like Matt did in his situation. Matt was able to hold on to who he was and still doing whatever it took. But in the case of the Avengers, some Avengers will lose themselves. After all, it is the end game. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I tried to make it good, and I'm really not trying to be the next high top films or anything, but yeah, if you guys could make sure to like this video, that would help me out a lot, and let me know what your one marvelous scene is. Thank you, and take care.